beef stew, beef loaf, beef rolls, beef hash, beef tongue, beef livers, beef a la mode, beef, beef, beef. Don't anybody in this town eat anything else but beef? Onion, rum, you got to do as the Romans do first. Sure, read the rest of it. Broiled beef, chopped beef, canned beef, corned beef, brisket of beef, ribs of beef, tenderloin of beef, dried beef, pickled beef, braised beef, 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 and more beef. Well, boys, decide what you're going to eat. Uh, there ain't nothing on that menu I want. What about you, Billy? Jeff and me ain't so particular. Suppose he's done so much beef in all his life, he can't eat any of it. Mm, according to the law, we're supposed to have anything we want for our last meal, and I'm insisting on my right. <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Sheriff. Fuzzy's bark is worse than his bite. Take it easy on yourself. Give us anything you have. Well, name your poison and I'll try and get it for you. I have an egg. It's my favorite. You can have it and all you can eat. I'll be sure there's plenty of ham gravy. And fry them eggs straight side up. That's the way I like them. Hmm. Boy, I can taste them right now. <laughs> Somehow or other, I don't relish this job of hanging you boys at sundown. <laughs> Neither do we. In spite of the evidence that showed you boys killed Art Lake, somehow I can't believe it. That's mighty nice of you to say that, Sheriff. As a matter of fact, we never even set foot on the Lake Ranch. We never saw the man alive. Or dead. That's right. Too bad you couldn't prove that in court. All the shooting's about. This key will open the cell door. And here's your guns. You'll find your horses out in the back. Now get to them quick. Who is it? They sure put one over on me this time. <laughs> I've run up against a lot of funny things in my time, but this tops them all. This must mean that we have friends we don't know about. I wonder. Now I'll have to buy my ham and eggs. And wait to learn to play that harp. Let's move. <laughs> Sure, the three of them got away clean. There's no doubt about it. That's good. Now we can go to work again. While they was in jail, there was no use to us. Look, Montana, get Pete and Charlie, put on those phony duds, and get busy. Here she comes, Pete.
Throw that box down. Well, it's nice going, boys. What's your hurry, Fuzzy? What's biting you? Look at that. Uh, uh, they'll be accusing us of starting a civil war next. Dag Nabbit, we never robbed or killed anybody. Nevertheless, we came within two shakes of getting our neck stretched for the murder of a man we never even saw. Jeb is right, Fuzz. Now sit down and cool off. We've got all we can do to clear ourselves of this murder charge. You know, I'm getting tired of this, and I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> what? Well, uh, well, uh, you... Go ahead, Fuzzy. Name something that we can do. Well, uh, huh? you Go and ahead. Billy could, uh, <laughs> could uh, oh. go out. Uh, Go ahead and laugh. I'll think of something. I'll, uh, uh, what's that I smell? Coffee? Yeah, better have yourself a cup. Maybe it'll help you think. I can't. What do you make of it, Billy? That's eh, the old story, Jeff. Give a dog a bad name and... Sounds like it's coming from over that ridge. Hey, maybe we better go have a look, huh? There we go again. I don't know. Every time you fellows hear us, come on, gosh, you want to get in. Switch it. Switch it. Fuzzy, let's go. Uh -huh. Taking a hand in that game. Yeah, three against one is too many. Hey, Jeff and me can handle them coyotes. Billy, you take care of that fellow with shot. Right, go ahead. Easy there, old timer. Easy.
Did you see that? Hey! What's the matter with you? You're not going to get away with it. <laughs> Looks like you've been collecting a little lead there, Sheriff. Yeah. And you donated it. But I ain't through yet. Kid. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't shoot you. Am I dreaming or who am I? Look at that. 45 hole in my best hat. Well, if they think they're kidding me, they're crazy. <clears throat> Sheriff, that wound's going to fester if we don't get that bullet out. You're a fool if you take it out, kid. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm warning you, kid. If you do and I pull through, I'm tracking you down. It's going to hurt. I can stand it if you can. How do you feel? All right. Thanks. You'll be in shape to ride again in a week or so. How'd you make out? They got away. How's he? Yeah, he'll be all right. Put up your gun, you're among friends. Uh, I'm not so sure of that. Uh, what's eating you now, Fuzzy? Uh, I don't like to be shot at by fellows that call friends. Most of all, being shot at by myself. Look at that, look at that. A bullet hole put in there by me, shooting at me. And you, my friends, doing it first. Uh, you must be touched by the sun. I've been right here all the time. I haven't seen you since we separated until right now. I'm Fuzzy Jones, ain't I? Sure you are. Uh, I don't know whether I am or not. Hey. Give my whiskers a yank, will you? I want to see if they're real. <laughs> go on, go on, give me a yank. You mean that? Certainly I mean it. The only way I can tell whether I'm asleep or awake. 
Okay, here goes. <laughs> I guess me is me. <laughs> well, if you three didn't jump me, then it was three fellows that looked exactly like you. You mean they were dressed like us? Exactly like you. That explains it. I wasn't dreaming. We're getting blamed for all those things we wasn't doing. Say, maybe that's the reason our would-be friends saved our lives. That's right. You remember, Sheriff. We denied being anywhere near our lake's place when he was shot. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. You claimed that. Maybe I can help you. Looks like we're gonna need help, Sheriff. I know where they hole up. And they know that I know it. That's why they tried to finish me off. Mesa City's the place. Mesa City? It's out of my territory, but... I notified the sheriff there, and... And... Oh, but I shouldn't be telling you. It's my job to get them, and... You, too. You're outlaws, and... 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 We better get him someplace where he'll be taken care of. Yeah, there's a line rider shack over on the slope. We're leaving there with plenty of food. And we're heading for Mesa City. And our three friends. And maybe we can clear ourselves of that Art Lake murder. I want to get that guy that's wearing my beard. <laughs> Come on, give me a hand, Jeff. What are you doing here, Montana? I thought I told you. Wait a minute, Stanton. I had to see you. We had a slip up. Where's Pete and Charlie? They're in the hideout. We're clear on that. What happened? Well, the sheriff showed up. We tried to get rid of him. Who stopped you? That real Billy the Kid and his pals caught up with us. We had to take it on the run. I told you if you turned them loose, we was going to get in trouble. I had to if I expected to keep operating. I suppose they run you right back here to Mesa City. Oh, not as bad as that. We just got to stay undercover for a while, that's all. You know, we always pulled our jobs a long ways away. Nobody would ever think of looking for us here. Well, maybe you're right about that. Tell Pete and Charlie to keep undercover. Me too, boss. No, oh, nobody will ever recognize you in that outfit. Besides, I need you here. Now, here's an angle I've been working on. I've heard of this Mesa City. It's a robber's roost if there ever was one. Yeah, there must be some good people in this town. Look at all them stores. <laughs> uh, not many, I'm afraid, Fuzz. Is that good or bad for us? Yeah, I'll tell you more about that later. Take my horse into that blacksmith shop and get a new set of shoes. Well, what in the thunder of shoes got to do with it? Yeah, if they don't take a shot at me, then we have nothing to worry about. We can hide out here for a while until we pick up the trail of those masqueraders. If someone does take a shot at you, then what? I don't have to tell you boys what to do. Come on, boy. safe, I'll have this town sewed up tight. You've got it pretty well buttoned up now. Who is it? Who 
is it? It's me, Curly. Something's come up over at the sheriff's office. Come in. Well, let's have it. What's he up to? Money. He got a letter from that sheriff down south at Lariat, telling him about your Billy the Kid business. He suspects you already, you know. And I heard him say he was coming over here to have it out with you. I've been expecting something like that. We gotta act quick before he gets a chance to talk. Because if he does, you know what that means. You mean... You got it. And right now. Get some of the boys together and start a rumpus outside. When the sheriff shows up, let him have it. Right. Dave, have a nice trip. Coming back to Mesa City where I can see you always makes a good trip, Sally. How many times must I tell you not to say things like that? Oh. Give me the mail. Oh, hurry up, Dave. I've got a lot of work to do. There you are. What's all the commotion? <laughs> Some of the boys left me off steam. I'm getting myself a pigeon. Dave, they shot your brother. <laughs> What's the matter? You seen a ghost? That hombre that just sided with young Evans is Billy the Kid. Well, you're crazy. The kid's in New Mexico. I tell you, it was him. He must have followed you. Maybe you're right. I'm getting out of here. Let me get over there. Take, take it easy. Don't you say still, Dave? Those fellows shot my brother. Yeah, stick your nose out there and they'll kill you. Maybe, but some of them will go along with me. Somebody's got to arrest those men. Who volunteered to put those killers where they belong? Take it easy, Fuzzy. If I were only a man, I'd show that crowd where to get... Uh. Plain law, man, is a little out of my line, miss, but if you, you feel that way about it, I'll see what I can do. I can have a jet, just cover me. Hey, how about trying to warn him to keep out of this? Don't be fooled because his hands ain't near his guns. He's fast. I felt it if he's strolling around this town, kid. Never felt better in my life. He's getting away with that bluff. He ain't bluffing. Who is he? I haven't seen him around these parts before. He's a stranger to me. But I hope he stays in Mesa City. Well, what do you want? You? For what? For shooting a man. I suppose you're going to throw me in the who's go. <laughs> That's right. But I'd much rather plant you in Boot Hill. I'm waiting. What's it going to be? The next one that tries that will be committing suicide. You better get your brother to a doctor. Come on, Fuzzy. I'd heard these men off the jail, Fuzz. What are you going to do? Got a date with a coyote. Got to teach him a lesson. Go on. You know where the jail is. Go on. Give me a drink of bourbon.
found that gun outside. Seems to fit your holster. Well, I wonder how I lost that. Well, thanks anyway. You could stand a little drink, partner. You want to join me? You're going to pull a stunt like this once too often, kid. Well, when that time comes, it'll be my hard luck. And a break for Uncle Sam. Meaning what? That he's the best publicity man in this country, and he's got your face plastered all over the landscape. <laughs> well, from what I've heard, that doesn't make any difference here in Mesa City. Clean up the place, boys. Yeah. Well, usually, that'd be so. There's some angles here you don't savvy. Such as? Hiya, Judge. What's going on, Rock? Say, ain't you taking a chance hanging around here? Maybe. Uh, Judge, meet Billy the Kid. Kid, this is uh, Judge Clark. You didn't expect to see the real thing in Mesa City, did you? Well, you've been making things pretty lively since you hit town. <laughs> Well, it seems like a pretty lively town, Judge. It is. Oh, uh, I just turned Curly Montana and the rest of the boys loose. Good. There's another thing I want you to do. When Barton wakes up, give him Steve Evans' badge. You know, he's through, the Sheriff. Barton always did want to wear that hug of tin. Yeah. I got some legal matters to take care of. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I suppose that's one of the angles you spoke about me not knowing. Yeah, and there's others. You seem to have this town pretty well sewed up. I have. And if you string along with me, I might be able to protect you and your pals from that murder charge. What murder charge? You know what I'm talking about. And if I don't? You saw what happened to Steve Evans. <laughs> <laughs> mean the same thing is liable to happen to me. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. What's your proposition? You know the Oklahoma Badland, don't you, Billy? Sure, sure. Who doesn't? Well, I'm setting up Mesa City the same way. Any wanted man is welcome, provided... Provided what? That I get my cut for the protection I give. And it looks like you could stand a little protection right now. Come on, let's have a drink. No, no thanks. You know, I've always played a lone hand. I'd like a little time to think it over. Go ahead. But don't take too long. I won't. Give me some bourbon, Gus. Hey, what do you think happened? I know, I know. Judge Clark turned him loose. Oh, you must be a mind reader. Find out anything else? Plenty. We have to work fast to turn up those mavericks that are using us for a front before it gets too hot around here. Well, it can't get too hot for me. I'm a two-gun rip. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you'll whistle another to him when you find out the setup we run into. Huh? You got any plans? Yeah, we have to catch him red-handed. We can't do it in town. Come on.
You know, I'm beginning to think when that sheriff told us to go to Mesa City, he sent us on a wild goose chase. You're wrong, Jeff. Stanton made me a proposition to join up with him. If I don't, we're in a jackpot. No, I think the answer to all our troubles is right here. Listen, if we don't turn up anything by sundown, why don't you head back to town and watch things there? That's an idea. Jeff and I can take care of things out here. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. And all they've been doing is snooping around, nothing else. I'm convinced the only reason Billy the Kid returned to Mesa City was to find the murderer of Art Lake and clear himself of the murder charge. Well, they might as well be looking for a needle in the haystack. Well, I'll feel a lot safer when he's out of the way. Who is it? Me, downtown. The Indian just brought this in. Yeah, well, this is a break. There's $15,000 coming in from Laird on today's stage. This is our chance to kill two birds with one stone. You telling me. Montana, get Pete and Charlie put those phony duds on and knock that stage over before it gets to town. Won't that give the whole setup away? No. Oh. When Dave sees you, he'll think it's Billy the Kid and his pals. You'll get away clean and they'll be blamed. Yeah. I get you. And Barton, just to make it look legal-like, in on this badge. Boy, am I going to like this. Come on, hand me down that mail sack. You fellas won't get away with this. If the last thing I do, I'll... I get it. it. You're talking to Billy the Kid and his pals. And don't make us mad, partner. It looks like we hit the jackpot, Fuzzy. Boy, is this gonna be fun. Barton and Sheriff. We're about ready to quit. Well, I'd hang on a little longer if I were you. Maybe we will, now that you're back. <laughs> Dave and I thought we'd left town. No, no, we just sort of been scouting around, looking things over. Are you figuring on settling down in Mesa City, Mr... Mr... <laughs> <laughs> you never did tell us your name. Uh, my friends call me Billy, Bill Barnum. I'm Sally Crane. Yeah, I know. Thing should begin to pop in a few minutes. I'll get a posse together and round up the kid. I was held up in the past by Billy the Kid. He's a fellow we thought would put him up. Dave, what are you doing? He's one of the fellows that held me up. It's Billy the Kid. <laughs> I don't know whether or not he's Billy the Kid, but I do know he didn't hold you up. And I know he did. What pass are you talking about? I've got a good Dave, mind. answer his question, please. Rocky Pass, you're going to deny you were there? He doesn't have to. I'll deny it for him. I tell you, this man held me up less than an hour ago. He couldn't have, for the simple reason he's been here in the office with me since noon.
Stay where you are. You keep them covered. They're the other two that were with them. Billy, you missed the show. Yeah, we ran into those hombres we were looking for. Hey, you shouldn't be pointing that pea shooter, folks. This allowed to go out and hurt somebody. They held up the stagecoach, and then we held them up. Good. We got the loot right here. That monkey that looks like me got away, but here's the whiskers he was wearing. Did you get a good look at his face? You bet I did. It was that poor cat they call Montana. Montana? Yeah, we got the other two staked out in the hills. What is this? You three fellas held me up and took that money. I saw you with my own eyes. I think there's something behind this we don't know about, Dave. Isn't there? Yes, ma'am, a lot. You've been fooled, same as plenty of other folks. How? By three fellas masquerading as Jeff, Fuzzy, and myself, murdering and robbing people? Oh, then you admit you're Billy the Kid. Well, why should I deny it? Hey, Billy, look. There's that Montana now. Now's your chance to clean out the whole caboodle. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, wait. yeah, that's what I say. I don't happen to be convinced that I'm wrong about you three. You're not what? You heard me. How many times have I got to tell you not to point that gun at folks? We'll able to go off sometime, and then you'll be sorry. Come on, what are we waiting for? Now, wait a minute. To figure out a way to force a showdown with Stanton and his gang without getting shot full of holes. Yeah, but at the same time, maybe we can convince Sally and Dave that we're on the level. That's right, Jeff. So here goes. Now, word came to us some time ago that unless we got these three... Where's Stanton? In his office. Now then, if things work out the way we figure, we'll be able to square ourselves not only with you, but with the law. You don't have to clear yourself with me. I believe you. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. It's kind of nice to hear you say that. Fuzz and I'll slide out the back door. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Don't show your hand too early, Jeff. Don't worry, we won't. Come on, Fuzz. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, swell fellas. Well? You might need this. Yes, ma'am, we might. Thanks. Billy the Kid just went into that saloon. Now, what he's up to, I don't know, and it don't make any difference. But when he comes out, I want you to start shooting and don't miss. All right, spread out. Hello, Sheriff. Pretty far out of your territory, aren't you? Oh, Larry, that isn't so far away. Sorry to hear about Steve. If you're looking for his killers, you're too late. Judge Clark turned him loose. So I heard. Mesa City's in a pretty bad way. All the riffraff on the frontier seems to float in here sometime or other. You looking for anyone in particular? Yeah, I have a sort of a warrant for Billy the Kid. What makes you think he's in town? Oh, I've been cold railing him for quite a spell. Saw him on the street a few minutes ago. Gonna need some help, Dave. You want to throw in with me? Well... When I tell you what we know about Billy, I'm sure you'll tear up that warrant. Nothing you could tell me would make any difference now. Well, what do you say, Dave? You gonna give me a hand, or do I have to deputize you? Well, if you put it that way, why, sure. Good. I've got a special job for you. One that'll surprise Billy and his pals. Won't you listen to me, please? Some other time. Now, don't do anything foolish. Bullets are liable to be flying around here promiscuous-like, so you better stay inside. Come on, Dave. the good sent you you for circling back to make sure that Pete and Charlie won't talk. Kid's out in the bar. Is he alone? Yeah. Well, he wasn't with the other two, so he don't know what happened. Well, that's lucky for you, and not so lucky for him. Well, we'll play this thing safe. Charlie and me will stall the kid while you get word to Barton. Yeah, and make sure he don't see you leave. Okay.
Well, hello, kid. Haven't seen you since we had our little talk. What have you been doing? Just scouting around. How'd things strike you? Well, I tell you, Stanton, you got a pretty smooth organization. Well, I told you that. Boom! Keep your hand off that gun. Make one move and you wake up playing a harp. I wonder what you were looking at. What, you made up your mind about what you're going to do? Yeah. In a way. What do you mean? It's like this, then. Stay put and you won't get hurt. What's the idea, kid? Just my way of saying no to your proposition, Stanton. Hold it. I put that gun away. All right, get around the end of the bar. Horseman Jones reporting with a prisoner. Get in there. Jeff, take Stan's gun. Hold everything. You arrive in the nick of time, Sheriff. That's a fine way to pay off after we saving your life. I told you that I was a lawman and someday I'd catch up with you. What are you doing, Masters? Arrest him, Billy the Kid, and his pal. You have no authority in this county. Well, I don't need you to tell me that. Turn your prisoners over to Sheriff Barton. I'm sorry, but I have first claim on them. What do you mean? I mean that if me and my prisoners are interfered with, there'll be a troop of cavalry on your neck before you can say scat. Come on, boys, get moving. Let them go. There's a surprise awaiting for him outside. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded this so much, Sheriff, if we had finished what we started. Well, you gotta break eggs to make a cake. What does Thunder Eggs gotta do with it? Well, keep moving and you'll soon find out. Hold it, boy! See what I mean? What's the answer? They had the saloon covered with rifles. You mean they're trying to drag us? That's what I figured, but I didn't want it to happen. Just yet. Oh, Dave, leave him there. Let's hightail it. Boys, this is as far as we go. Get down. Well, I'm turning you all loose. <laughs> Hoping you'll help me to do a job I haven't been able to handle myself. Uh, what kind of a job? Cleaning up Mesa City. Rounding up those fellas that made you boys a lot of trouble. Oh, we already got two of them stashed away. You mean you had two men? I found them in a shack in the hills loaded with lead. It kind of changes things a little, don't it? Yeah, what's to prevent us from agreeing and then heading for the border first chance we get? Nothing but your word. I guess you got us figured right, Chef. And after the job is done, look out. <laughs> we'll worry about that when the time comes. It's going to be a little tough getting convictions with Clark and Stanton working together. Say, have you noticed these Dodgers nailed up around town, Billy? Take a look. Yeah.
seem to have something on your mind, Sheriff. What is it? Well, McConnell's a circuit judge and a good friend of mine. Any cases he tries are on the level. And you figure he might try a few while he's in town? Well, if Judge Clark was to disappear into thin air... Yeah, but there are only three days before the fourth. We'll have to split up. Jeff, you and Fuzzy work with the sheriff and Dave. I'll have a little talk with Judge Clark. <laughs> See what we can do. Do I have to explain again, Judge, why this climate isn't good for your health? Why, you, you can't do this to me. I was legally appointed judge by Stanton. I... I've heard all that before. And I'm still convinced that unless you leave these parts, you're not going to live long. All right, I'll go. But you're going to pay for this. Here comes Curly now. We'll grab him as he passes. Careful. Sally's looking this way. Anybody else? No. Okay. Hey, what are you fellas trying to do to me? It's going to take you out of circulation for a while. How long do you fellas expect to keep me here? Oh, until you go on trial before the judge. <laughs> well, unless quicker the better. Yes, but Judge Clark won't be on the bench. He's taking a little trip. Hey, Fuzzy, by request. <laughs> yeah, we got a <laughs> new and honest judge coming in on the stage this afternoon. <laughs> We'll have to travel fast if we're going to keep our date with Billy and the others. Yeah. I don't know who grabbed him, but, but they took him behind that building over there. Well, whoever done will soon find out they can't make a monkey out of me. and bringing in Jack McConnell. I didn't think they're smart enough to pull a move like that. And there's no fixing McConnell. He's tough. Now, maybe he is. But I'll show the kid he don't hold all the aces. Get the men together. We're going to meet that stage. stand in Mesa City, Judge. Stanton has quite a stranglehold on the town, doesn't he? He has. We're banking on you to help us break it. Well, if things turn out like you figure, we'll have plenty of evidence. Now remember, I want McConnell alive so I can trade him for Judge Clark. I understand. Here they come. Get what I told you. Right. All right. 
Dress for the occasion. You don't look so good. No, and you've shaved since the last time I seen you. I've worn a beard in 20 years. All right, Montana, who's behind all this? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah? Who killed Art Lake? I never heard of him. Who killed Art Lake? Who killed Art Lake? Montana, I never killed a man in cold blood before. All right, Bill, take it easy. I'll tell you. Sanders behind it. Oh! Keep an eye on him. Think I won't? On your feet, Stanton. You got a lot of questions to answer. Get out of here. With Stanton and his gang in jail and the clothes they wore impersonating you safe in your hands as evidence, it won't be hard to convict them. Then you won't have to leave town. No, ma'am, not for a while. Uh, hold everything. Now that you're a sheriff, it'd be all right if I use that desk for how long? Six months, 24 hours a day. What for? Sleeping. Now that everything's <laughs> quiet and peaceful, <laughs> I'm going to make up for lost sleep. <laughs> Sheriff! Billy the Kid and his pals are holding up the bank. Hey, wait a minute. What did you do with those clothes? Uh, the clothes? Yeah, the clothes. Oh, I, I made a swell deal. <laughs> I got $10 for them. Mm. Here, Here we, we go, go again. again. <laughs> 